take a really big hit. If you want to play good tennis, you need to have good balls. So how do you know if you have good balls? Well, there's a couple of different ways that you can tell. There's kind of more visual way that you can tell by looking. And then there's also the feel or how much pressure is still left inside of them. And so let's go ahead and, and pop a new, new can here. Take a hit, Kevin. That's, that's one way you can tell is the smell actually. There's an unmistakable smell. And actually different, different manufacturers have different scents you can get familiar with over time. Ball. Yeah, so the first way that you can tell how new a ball is, is how bright it is. So this is one we just took out of the can. Obviously it's like super bright and it's also a little bit matted down. Over time, you can see that some of these get really kind of fuzzy and hairy and kind of poofy. And that's a pretty telltale sign that a ball's been played with quite a bit. Very poofy balls. Yeah, you don't, you don't want that. So the visual test is one way, but another way you can tell is by simply seeing what the pressure is like. Tennis balls are pressurized. That's why the can is pressurized. If a brand new ball just sits out of the, the can, it will go dead, even if you don't play with it. You can let this ball sit, not hit with it one time, and a week later, it'll be significantly less pressurized. And a month later, it'll be pretty flat. And so these two, for example, if you look at uh, these two balls, this one looks a little bit newer visually. It's a little bit cleaner, but it's actually really flat. And after a while, you can start to get a feel for this with your hands, uh, or if we take these two balls and we just drop them both at the same time, you see that this one came up a little bit higher. Oops, my balls are getting away from me. And that's because the newer looking one has been sitting back behind the curtain in our ball machine for like three months. It's colder back there behind the curtain. And so looks can be deceiving. We right. have one more test that I think, Ian, we're gonna test Mr. Westerman. Ball He's test? Gonna, yeah, ball test. See if he can sniff out the hairy ball. So we close my eyes? Yeah, I want you to close, he's gonna close his eyes here and I'm gonna present a new ball. Let me smell your balls, and Kevin. And a, <laughs> a hairy ball. Okay, ready? I'm ready, Take your first I'm ready. Hit. Okay, don't say anything. Can you put hit. it right up against my nose? Okay, one more time. Yeah, yeah, let me. Mm, get that. Okay. Yeah, no feeling there. Second okay. one, second, second one. one, second one. Second one, new one. Oh, see, there we go, good job. <laughs> he knows the difference between a hairy ball. I've smelled a lot of balls. So, uh, you know, after a while you get, you get a sense for it, both uh, smell-wise, visual-wise, but I think the feel test is the most important one. So you get the smell, the yeah. feel, and the... Because you can have a, a new looking ball that's actually really flat, and you don't want that yeah. when you're playing flat tennis. Balls. So look, feel, smell, bounce, those are all the different ways that... High-performance balls. You can judge your balls.